Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing this fall makeup look inspired by the autumn leaves and the brown colors of I don't know what it is, but it's really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It also looks really good on blue eyes because we're using a lot of oranges and orange is blue's complementary color. So there you have it. Um, anyway, make sure to subscribe below so that you don't miss any future videos and let's get started. First things first, you need a good primer. I'm using Makeup Forever's Base Nourishing Primer. This just helps keep the skin smooth and your makeup looking fresh all day. And then this is Clinique's Beyond Perfecting Foundation. It's been one of my favorites for a while now. It does a good job covering like red spots and acne scars. And then this is the new IT Cosmetics All That Glitters brush set. It's like a limited edition. It's a super awesome starter kit if you're looking for some great brushes. This is the dome shaped foundation brush and it just does a really good job blending in liquid foundation. Foundation. And next we are going to move on to the eyes. I am priming my eyes with Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion and then I'm going to be using the Transformation Palette from Pure. These colors are seriously so great for fall. There's a cream blush and a contour on the bottom row and I'm j I just love that you can get an entire look with one palette. So this is definitely one worth looking into. So I'm starting this look off by taking the domed eyeshadow brush and applying the champagne color all over the lids. And then I'm taking the coral matte color with the brush that's technically for concealer, but it's perfect for applying eyeshadow in the crease too. So once that's nice and blended, I'm just taking the precision brush with the deep plum color to my lash line and blending it out a bit. Almost like I was drawing on winged liner, but more of a soft look with the eyeshadow. And then I'm switching brushes to Sigma's tapered shadow brush and just blending it out a little bit better. And then next up, I'm going back in with that coral matte color under the lower lash line. And on to the eyebrows. You could use the angled brush from the glitter brush set, but I'm just a creature of habit and love my Anastasia Beverly Hills angled brush. And then I'm just using the Dip Brow Pomade. I use the color Taupe. Uh, you want the darkest color to be in your arch, so I try to fill in there first and then use the leftover product on my brush to fill in that area kind of in the front. I mostly just keep it simple and fill in my natural shape, nothing too crazy, and then just blend the color Color and brush the brows with the spoolie on the end. Next, I'm using the high brow from Benefit. This just helps carve out the eyebrows. So I put it above the eyebrow arch and below it and then blend it out with a precision brush. I'll make sure to link up to everything I'm using in the description box below, so make sure to check that out if you are interested. But yeah, doing this just really illuminates and lifts the brows. And onward to the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. This is the shade Light. I love this one or the NARS Creamy Concealer. I switch off and on with which one is my favorite like every other day. This one is a little bit harder to blend, but it's more pigmented and has some anti-aging properties, which is nice if you're starting to see those fine lines and wrinkles, but it's also harder to blend. So I find myself tugging at the under eye area a little bit more, but you just need a tiny bit and it brightens the under eye area so good. So moving on, I'm taking the black cream color in the Transformation Palette from Pure and the angled eyebrow brush just to add a little bit more intensity to the lash line. And then I am using my favorite mascara ever. Guys, this stuff is so good. It's the fully charged magnetic mascara from Pure and I'm obsessed. I've talked about this before in my How I Grew My Eyelashes video. I'll make sure to link that below if you are curious, but it's just a really great mascara worth the investment for sure. Next up, I'm using the coral blush color from that same transformation palette and just blending it into the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm taking the matte bronze color to contour. These are so creamy and they blend really well. So I'm mostly just using my fingers and then on my forehead, I'll be blending that color in with the domed foundation brush and adding color here just helps make your forehead head look a little bit smaller. So now I'm going to take that contour color to my nose. Applying it here just makes your nose look a little bit thinner. So I'm blending it out with the 3DHD Precision Contouring Brush from Sigma. This has been a long time favorite. And we're almost done. This is the Je ne sais quoi palette from IT Cosmetics. It's actually a really, really awesome palette. It's got your Bye Bye Pores pressed powder and a really pretty pink blush. It's got a luminizer and a matte bronzer, which is perfect for contouring. And I love this palette because it's kind of all in one. So I really am kind of lazy with this. I probably should use different brushes, but I'm just taking that one powder brush and just dipping it in all the different colors and kind of setting those creams that we used. So when you're using creams, it's really important that you set them with powder so they don't move all over the place. So I just really like this one because it's really light. It doesn't feel like I'm adding a whole bunch more makeup. I'm just going over those contour areas with the bronze color and then adding that pretty luminizer color over the cheekbone. 
tones. And last but not least, the lips. This is the liquid lipstick from Smashbox. Now these can be a little bit tricky. If your lips are dry at all, it's gonna look really awful. So make sure that you're exfoliating your lips with like a toothbrush or a scrub and only use one coat or it gets a little bit cakey. So that's how I have found success, is if I don't put on too much and I make sure that I have really healthy lips. I felt like I wanted a little bit darker of a color, so I grabbed um, this corally shade and just added a little bit more color around the ends of my lips and blended it inward. I'll make sure to leave all the links and the colors that I used in the description box. I'm taking this black Lancome eyeliner and I'm just going over my waterline to, you know, make my eyes just pop a little bit more. <laughs> And we are done! A beautiful fall inspired makeup look. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions about the products that I used. And honestly, you can use any similar colors. You don't need the palettes or the brushes or anything that I was using. But if you're on the lookout, I've really been loving the IT Cosmetics and Pure Brands lately. I hope you guys enjoyed this little makeup tutorial. If you want me to film the French braided top knot, the one that I was wearing, like, just two seconds ago. Let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I will try to film it for next week. Okay, I love you guys. Have a happy Halloween and we'll see you soon. Bye.